What is going on guys? Ultimate Deadpool here, back with another video. So this is going to kind of explain what happened in my live stream a couple of days ago. Um, so, this is, uh, as of hopefully in a few months, a few weeks, whatever the case may be, I'm going to start a new universe. I'm going to completely wipe the slate clean out of everything you guys know so far in terms of anything you know character related they're not going to go anywhere so metalhead he's not going to go anywhere kill shot he's not going to go anywhere batman deadpool all these other characters they're not going to go anywhere but they are all going to be able to interact and maybe even team up and other stories um in a connected and a connected universe um now officially called the Ultimate Deadpool Cinematic Universe, or the UDCU, if you want to call it that way. So in the Ultimate Deadpool Cinematic Universe, anything is possible. Sonic the Hedgehog can show up. Superman can show up. Batman can show up. Metalhead can show up. Iron Man can show up. The Ninja Turtles can show up. Hell, Deadpool himself is going to show up. You know, Wolverine could fight Sonic the Hedgehog for some reason. Jason Voorhees could fight... Chris Evans, Captain America, you know, all of this stuff is possible. So, in a weird way, everything exists everywhere. So, and, but what I'm using this universe for is to basically flesh out a ton of hopefully very, very fun stories. Um, and also origin stories for others. Um, because... Now that I recently just made remade Metalhead where his eyes are glowing red like they've always supposed to and always were meant to be, um, I can now flesh out, you know, Slaughter's story. I can, I can flesh out Killshot's story, Oswald's story, redo Metalhead's origin story, and have it all flow in a continuous, um, you know, story where it's like everything is connected, everything, you know, kind of tells its story, everyone gets to have their moment, everyone gets to do what they need to do, and it doesn't feel off-putting. Because if I were to just go up and straight up remake Metalhead's origin story right now, you know, yeah, that'd be great, but then, like, Oswald, if I wanted to do an Oswald origin story, it wouldn't really work. Um, or if I were to, you know, say I wanted to do, like, an Iron Man build-up, or he's just starting off, which is exactly where this universe is going to start off. Iron Man is not 100% established, but Tony Stark does exist. Um, Captain America does exist, but he has not officially become Captain America just yet. Deadpool is the audience in this particular universe. So it's all, all of this is going to kind of be like the perspective of Deadpool. And another big thing that I've been wanting to do with Deadpool lately since he's been kind of lacking in a lot of videos, mostly because the version of I, that I have of him is terrible, <laughs> um, is have Deadpool actually break the fourth wall and, in fact, actually stop videos um, while they're happening to kind of comment on it. And that's kind of where this is going to be. It's literally going to be Deadpool as the audience watching his own, you know, watching his universe and watching the, all of these stories and stuff happen and kind of being able to comment on it like, you know, how he does in the comic books where he'll literally stop an entire comic book run very similar to Emperor's New Groove um, where he literally takes out the remote, pauses the entire movie and speaks to the audience. That's kind of where Deadpool is supposed to be um, and that's what he's going to be doing um, in the Ultimate Deadpool Cinematic Universe or Ultimate Deadpool Connected Universe. Uh, I think that's actually what it is. It's Ultimate Deadpool's Connected Universe. Um, so, in this new uh, Connected story, um, Oswald is going to get his chance to flesh out his origin story. Killshot, we're going to stretch out his... or we're, I'm going to finally be able to tell his origin story. You know, Slaughter, he doesn't have much of an origin story, but he does have a story. Um, Iron Man, I can flesh out a story for him. Sonic the Hedgehog can go and do some storytelling, Chris Evans, Captain America, the Ninja Turtles, Superman, Batman, Five Nights at Freddy's, anything is possible right now. And that's exactly what this uh, this cinematic or, you know, 
contained or whatever you want to call it universe is supposed to do. Um, Deadpool will be comment, can comment on anything. Um, Deadpool can show up out of nowhere just like Captain America can show up out of nowhere. Superman can show up out of nowhere. Uh, Wolverine can show up out of nowhere. Like literally anybody can show up out of anywhere and it's all connected. It's all coherent. It's all going to make sense. So Spider-Man will show up, um, but he's not going to be Spider-Man. He's going to be early stage of Spider-Man. So he's still going to be young. He's still going to have room to grow. Um, and all the characters that I'm going to be showing off um, are going to be kind of like in their early stages of officially becoming and doing what they need to be doing. So it's going to feel um, kind of like what I've been doing forever, but just... Is more or less going to have Deadpool just show up out of nowhere, comment on it, or whatever, or, you know, be like, oh, you guys want to pay attention to this specific moment right here. You know, it's like stuff like that. Um, and uh, don't worry before anything, before any, because I know uh, this happened in the live stream and this is going to happen here too. Um, the death battles are not going to go anywhere. The mini series that I do, they're not going to go anywhere. Um, all the other characters will still, you know, arrive and show up and fight whoever you guys want them to fight or whoever seems worthy to fight. You know, every, all of that stuff is still going to happen just as normal. The only difference is now everything is going to be able to connect. But if it's not connected, then I'll say, okay, this is not canon or this is canon. So that way it doesn't really lead into confusion. I was like, oh, wait, this guy's not established yet. Why is he fighting this guy? Or why is this happening when this hasn't been established yet? It's because it's not going to be connected. But the other stuff will be. So it'll be confusing for a little bit. And I hope that this video makes sense. Um, and kind of helps people realize, oh, this is going to be something new. But it's going to be hopefully something fun. Um, and that's really what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a fun storytelling adventure. Because um, I have an entire plethora of characters and... Um, what not that I want to flesh out stories like I've never done a story uh, uh, action figure story with Batman I've never done a live action or an action figure story with Iron Man Captain America Spider-Man Deadpool Superman you know Wolverine even like there's so many things that I haven't done um, in terms of storytelling that I want to do and action figures can animate that better than Lego can Lego's not going to go anywhere, and if anything, Lego's actually going to make a comeback in, on the channel because I haven't done anything really Lego-esque in almost a year and a half. <laughs> but, you know, all of that stuff is going to come back. Um, but the main thing moving forward is basically everything is going to start over. Uh, everything is going to be basically st start from scratch. Um, the characters, some characters are going to be established sooner, uh, quicker than others. So, you know, expect certain things to not make a hundred percent, uh, sense right away, but eventually everything will make sense. Hopefully everybody will, everybody will eventually show up. So Metalhead will eventually show up. Uh, Slaughter will eventually show up. Oswald will eventually show up. You know, Deadpool will eventually interact with Batman, Superman, Wolverine, Iron Man, Leonardo, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, whoever. Um, and the Avengers will all be established. The Justice League will be established. The X-Men will be established. You know, all of these characters and stuff and plots will eventually be touched on. But it's not going to happen for a while. So th this is just something that's up and coming. I will give you guys updates on it. And when it officially starts, I will tell you guys when it officially starts. And we will go from there. So, in a weird way, the way this is all going to start is by having something else completely different happen. So, hopefully it all makes sense in the end. And hopefully everyone ends up enjoying it. This is something I've been wanting to do for years now. And have never really figured out quite how to do it. But now that I have a rough idea of where I want to do with it. And how I want to flesh out a lot of my custom made characters and tell really fun stories from other characters, I think this is going to be fun. So I can flesh out a Venom story. I can flesh out a Black Suit and Spider-Man story, the Fantastic Four. Literally anything is possible. And I actually added a bunch of stuff to my Amazon and eBay cart. 
So whenever I'm actually ready to do this, I'll have brand new characters with brand new stories to tell and they'll all be action figure animations now that I've actually gotten better at those. So hopefully these all work out um, and I hope you guys are excited for it as I am. I am excited as hell to be starting this new Ultimate Deadpool Connected Universe. And uh, thank you guys again, and I will catch you guys all next time. Hopefully this video gets, sheds a little bit of light on that subject, um, and hopefully gives you a little bit of insight to what's coming into the future. And this is basically everything that was just recapped um, in the live stream. So for those of you who missed that live stream, this video covered it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.